G'day chaps, I'd just like to talk to you very quickly about why I believe virtual reality is a historic moment. This marks something quite special, and I think it, this is as important as the invention of the cell phone, as virtual reality hits retail stores. For real now, this is real technology, and it's amazing. However, there are some criticisms I've seen being leveled at virtual reality. There are skeptics. And I'll go into what their criticisms are and why I think they're not really valid. The first one I've seen is to do with the cables, um, especially with Vive, where you need to stand up and walk around a room. Uh, there are criticisms being labeled, leveled sorry, at how the cable is very restrictive. Um, in response to this, essentially, I mean, either standing up, having to stand up to play, as with the Vive, will, will disappear because people will realize that it's not a very effective or enjoyable way to play long term, or, or they're basically going to invent Bluetooth headsets. Uh, so I don't really see this being an issue long term. The second criticism is to do with cost. These are very expensive pieces of equipment. These are really designed for early adopters. Um, and there's not a great deal of content to go with those uh, these these virtual reality headsets. However, of course, these costs will come down. This is just the first iteration of this equipment. And of course, it's expensive. New technology is always expensive. If you think back to the first cell phones, they were like bricks and they cost a fortune. It was only rich yuppies who had them and, uh, and drug cartel bosses. Uh, next, um, next criticism I've seen is to do with usability. Um, the fact that these are not perfect pieces of equipment that some parts of it are clunk clunky like the uh, the handsets are not perfect or whatever else of course naturally these will get better uh, the final thing i've seen is that um, to do with the content developers basically aren't going to make virtual reality only games because there isn't enough uh, demand there aren't enough virtual reality headsets in circulation to make it worth it for the developers to make virtual reality games. However, as we've seen with Drift and some of the other games, I think, um, it's perfectly possible for a developer to make a game for virtual reality and the normal flat screen play way of playing the game, sorry, which is exactly what a Drift have done. So again, I see this as a, a really silly point to make. And then finally, yeah, a content again. Uh, of course there's not much content. This thing has just come out. Um, it's going to take a while before virtual reality really becomes cheaper and more widely accepted. And then as it becomes cheaper, there's going to be more content. You know, this is a the cycle of hardware and software always goes together. And this is just the beginning. So again, I go back to the point, I really think that virtual reality is historic. This is going to be, this is a new generation of 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 interaction and engagement with, with both games and other things. Um, and you can compare it to Google Glass. Google Glass was incredible. And everyone kind of went, wow, that's amazing. Now, what the am I supposed to do with it? This is completely different to virtual reality. Virtual reality has a very practical use. I mean, I've just heard about IKEA signing a deal with Vive to develop um, software so that people can go and look at furniture in 3D. And there are, there are developers creating uh, properties, uh, property software, sorry, so you can go and view a property before you buy it. And ultimately, it comes back to demand. Again, different from Google Glass, where they kind of developed it and no one really wanted it. Everybody seems to want virtual reality at the moment. And I admit, I have ordered one myself. I I couldn't resist, um, but it's for a different reason. I have ordered one as a collector's piece. Right, boys, that's it for me. Just a few thoughts on virtual reality. I'm going to be covering this in much more detail, as well as showing you my experiences as I go and try virtual reality for myself. Melbourne actually has two virtual reality centers, and I'm going to go and visit them because I, I can't wait to try it out. And I'm going to be filming that and showing that for you. So keep an eye out for that kind of stuff. Right, boys, thank you very much for watching and ciao for now.